So in this segment, we're going to be talking about um, fishing uh, tensions rising um, due to a French fisherman blockade of um, a fishing port um, in France. So the French government called for a quick implementation of a Brexit post-Brexit accord on mutual access to fishing water on Friday after French fishermen blocked trucks trying to bring in catches from Britain overnight. More than 100 uh, launched the blockade late Thursday at Volonga um, sur Mer, France's busiest fishing hub. Pronunciations come and like Alavi uh, to protest a sham deal on access in place since Britain left the European Union on the 1st of January. Despite a provisional trade accord, they say UK authorities have granted licenses to only 22 of the 120 boats seeking permission to fish between 6 and 12 nautical miles from the British coast. Um, and so this is according to uh, France um, fishing authorities or, you know, whoever, someone in France. And the UK denies that it's only 22 licenses. But given the scale of the protests and the fact that there's a lot of people there does make me believe that the UK government are actually lying about the amount of licenses given out, which we'll talk about in a minute. So a full granting of access licenses for British waters and quick resolution of crucial questions, including the use of forward bases, must be resolved as soon as possible, the French minister said. Along uh, with across um, to UK waters, the accord calls for French boats to be able to unload their catches at British ports so they can be then brought back to France uh, quickly by truck. So it's quite interesting that they don't go straight back to France. Um, it could be for, you know, fuel reasons or whatever. But surely then they have to go through customs and all that stuff. So wouldn't that slow down everything? So it's very interesting that they uh, drop off things to the UK um, for it to get processed here. Very strange. Um, along with So the European Parliament is to vote on Tuesday on ratifying the uh, trade deal with the TCA. Um, it is not enough to have a nice letter. We need action, said um, Olivier. Uh, head of the regional fishing committee in response to the French minister's statement. Now it's impossible to unload fish at English ports because they don't have the licenses. Um, he said saying French boats are instead having to unload catches from British waters in Denmark. And looks like Denmark are doing really well from Brexit, um, to be honest with you, uh, for fishing reasons. But it's very strange that they go all the way to Denmark instead of to um, back to France. Uh, there'll be a reason for it, I'm sure. I'm just not seeing it. So British authorities claim that 87 of the French boats had received their licenses. So 87 out of 122 uh, boats. But if we look at this article here, uh, it says that 80%, apparently 80% of the fleet are still waiting, according to French fishermen, and that you have some 80 fishermen at this um, blockade. So are you telling me that only about 20 ships, you know, they wouldn't be that big? I'd assume would have 80 people or are you saying that you know French fishermen who have got licenses would be at a protest to support other French fishermen I mean one of those arguments I'm not too sure about chief so the UK maintains a consistent evidence no oh, shut up these are lies the evidence based on uh, licensing EU vessels this is a myth um, a spokesperson for DEFRA said we do not recognize the figures that have been shared by the French fishing industry and consider the reaction to be unjustified well considering that the French reaction to most things seems to be direct action and the British response to everything seems to be oh well you know who cares or suck it up or you know well this is the way things have to be so, you know, it says our concerns regarding the protest action have been raised directly with the French authorities. Maybe you should do your job and start handing out licenses properly. Um, La Parette acknowledged that very, very, very few drivers tried to get past the blockade just outside a checkpoint where trucks are arriving from Britain at nearby Dunkirk or Calais um, must now undergo hygiene, hygiene checks because of Brexit. Um, so there's been a blockade in that area. So obviously, if you can't get your hygiene checks done, um, your fish ain't going through. Most had advance warning and chose to unload their fish deliveries elsewhere, while several British flagged uh, Dutch ships also avoided the um, Bolongi fish market and instead headed to Belgium. I do believe that is the largest fish market in Europe, but uh, don't quote me on that. The protest was to end on Thursday morning uh, with a sale of fish at cut rate prices, also aimed at denouncing EU policies on quota allotment. So this is more than just you know a protest against um, the UK, but this is mainly against the UK. 
And so, yeah, you know, when the French protest, they do it properly. And, you know, this is down to mainly down to the fact that the UK government clearly haven't been given out um, the licensing that they were meant to give out to French fishermen. And I'm sure there'll be people in this country saying, oh, that's great news. And, you know, we don't want fresh French fishermen in our water and blah, blah, blah. But this was part of the deal we agreed to with the EU. So if we keep having problems with this, then the TCA will most likely get signed. But there, there are dispute mechanisms within the trade deal. So it's possible maybe that the EU retaliate in some regard against us. And I'm sure those same fishermen wouldn't be impressed if tariffs started getting loaded onto fish being exported from the UK to the EU because the uh, DEFRA has decided to uh, not hand out licenses to French fishermen when they were meant to. But anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.